Ria Petule sees the shortage of nurses in the Philippines up close, sitting by her husband Rico's hospital bed. There's no one to attend to the patients, she says. Health officials say 40 percent of all Filipino nurses have left the country or retired. We'd like to stop the bleeding as soon as we can. Maria Rosario Vajera says the Philippines has a shortage of more than 350,000 nurses. Those recruiting our nurses should also give us some form of exchange so that uh, there would be something for our country. The head of the Philippine Nurses Association says he's especially worried about high-risk pregnancies in rural areas. There's also strain on those nurses left behind, caring for too many patients. It would be high risk for an error for the patient. A better life in Manitoba. Manitoba's Minister of Labor and Immigration is trying to fill nearly 2,000 nursing vacancies. We want to make sure this batch that comes has a seamless transition so that they can be gainfully employed right away and that'll benefit Manitobans. But there are growing concerns in less developed countries that wealthy nations like Canada are exploiting those with fragile health care systems. It's a higher income, richer countries who are going on this global shopping trip. They are taking from shelves which are already very, very bare and can least afford to lose nurses from. Nurses in the Philippines are also torn between duty to their country and the much larger paychecks and opportunities abroad. In God's time. So, sorry. Amir Pagatalan is emotional when he talks about being offered a job by the Manitoba delegation. He says it's a gift from God. It will be enough to support my family. Po. The Filipino government wants countries like Canada to do more, like fund nurse training spots or provide scholarships for Filipino students, or train more nurses here at home so they don't have to go elsewhere to poach them. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.